Every summer, students in the Latin American Studies program at the University of Arizona leave Tucson for various places around Latin America to do thesis research. With the help of Tinker, students get to observe, experience, and immerse themselves in an environment of their choice. Here are some of their stories. Mi investigación es con la comunidad, una comunidad eh, en Colombia, en el sur de Colombia, que es la zona de reserva campesina. Han sido estigmatizados, eh, señalados como guerrilleros, como terroristas, como colaboradores de la guerrilla. Eh, y por este motivo, la única inversión estatal que han tenido en su territorio ha sido a través de la fuerza y la militarización. Pero aún así, ellos eh, mantienen internamente dentro de su estructura mantienen un, una filosofía de paz. My research takes place in rural Paraguay. I um, spent a total of three and a half months in uh, the northeastern region uh, on the border along with Brazil, uh, looking at the emergence of small terrorist group and how that's impacting criminalization of small scale farming communities in the region. I traveled to the Yasuni National Park, which is located in the, uh, in the Ecuadorian Amazon, to work with the Quichua Anyangu community who own and operate um, their own tourism project. And so my research is really about looking at the dynamics of community-owned tourism. I'm particularly interested in looking at what happens when the community has power in their hands to control what the performance of tourism looks like and what the tourism experience is like for visiting tourists. And I was looking at the relationship between oil development and affected communities. So I'm looking specifically at this lawsuit that is happening in Ecuador with Chevron. The way that I see it, this case is an example of community resilience and resistance about a whole group of people who were being marginalized and exploited, organized, and we were able to hold this company accountable. The first time that I went down, I, um, I went down with this idea, with, with what I thought was a, very, a novel idea that um, the state is using this terrorist group to criminalize small-scale farming communities. Um, and uh, about halfway through my field work, I realized um, that someone had already published a thesis on it, uh, but it didn't end up being the end of the world, right? Um, what we learn in academia is that we're contributing to the literature, right? We're not trying to necessarily blaze a new path, but we're, we're building um, a narrative. Es mi primera investigación en toda mi vida, entonces no sabía cómo iba a ser, no sabía qué tenía que hacer, no sabía con qué me iba a encontrar. Cuando empecé a, reco a, a, a recoger todos los testimonios, a tener contacto con ellos y a entender cómo era que ellos hacían el trabajo, yo dije, wow, lo que yo pensaba que iba a ser no es lo que yo tenía que hacer. Eh, definitivamente necesito escuchar más, ver más, para poder entender cómo es que ellos trabajan, cómo es que ellos funcionan y quiénes son ellos en realidad y poder, poder transmitir eso en mi tesis final. You know, I've, I know a lot about the case, I've read a lot about it, I've watched a lot of videos, seen pictures, but when you're actually there, talking to people, uh, you know, being, I was in the areas that were contaminated, um, it was a completely different experience. I was doing one interview with a woman who was describing to me all of the symptoms that her family has felt from, they used to live 30 feet from one of these unlined pits that had toxic waste. She was describing to me that her son was incredibly sick, um, so they had to move, but where they moved, it was not much better, and now she's getting sick. I was asking her, is it any better than where you were before? And she was saying, no, it's not, but where are we gonna go? You know, there's, everywhere is the same. A moment for me that was really um, kind of revelatory was when I was detained by the police for three hours for trying to enter a, um, uh, small-scale farming community um, and was questioned and um, verbally abused uh, which was kind of um, it allowed me to see firsthand how uh, folks are criminalized and the, the processes of, of fear that are used against this community to um, kind of um, disarticulate them from resisting um, and so I, I wouldn't have been able to experience that without having actually been there and I think it was like a personal first-hand experience that's that couldn't have been achieved any other way. Trabajé mucho con la gente, con las comunidades, con los colonos, con los campesinos y fue maravilloso el contacto. Eh, la energía que te entregan, la sinceridad con la que te hablan, eh, lo que conoces de ellos, toda la riqueza cultural que te transmiten es algo que eh, te llena, te llena y eso nunca lo vas a conseguir en un espacio académico aquí en cuatro muros eh, dentro de un edificio. Entonces, cuando lo vives, 
lo gozas, lo aprendes y te lo quedas. Es maravilloso. At the end of the summer, students who did research head back to Tucson to review their work, begin the thesis writing process, and present their findings at the Tinker Symposium. In the end, field research is a valuable experience students can apply to not only their education, but also their careers and personal growth.